today to sort of introduce you guys to the new Ben Rose watch and our existing ones. Most importantly, I'll start off with the Ben Rose Ultra Deep, which we just launched a few weeks ago. And we're very excited about this for multiple reasons. Number one, uh, the Ultra Deep line was very important to Benrus as a brand for many years in the 60s and, and 50s. We picked a particular piece which has a really large following. Uh, in this Ultra Deep, it was originally based off the super compressor design. We've modernized just as we do with all our watches to current standards and specs. So it's no longer a compressor, but it maintains the identical dimensions to the original. 36.5 millimeter case. It is 20 ATM like the original rating. In this case, we have an acrylic crystal with an internal magnifying cyclops. And then the, the really awesome part about this watch is the internal rotating bezel, which is common to the compressor design. Uh, dual crowns, we put a, a screw down crown on the, on the time only and we kept it open with the cross hatch design of the original. Uh, for a 36.5 millimeter watch, it just, it wears great for people that either want bigger or smaller watches. It, uh, it's surprising how well it wears. So we're really excited. Uh, the first launch we had on a group of divers in Lake Michigan it was where we tested it out and uh, it also comes with a blue nylon strap so you can wear it. Uh, in the water or without the uh, bracelet if you want. 18 millimeter lugs and uh, we're super excited about this. Super Luminova C3 and we put a real lot of attention into keeping the original design with a slightly curved dial, the really awesome loom and the cathedral hands which were very uh, or iconic to this particular compressor. And then again, that internal magnifying Cyclops, which really rounds it out. So very excited about this one here. And that one's uh, 1,095. If we stay on the dive side, more recently, the Orbit Robot, which is a one-to-one -one release of our 1970s uh, dive watch. Fumé dial. Um, these are Swiss made. Uh, all these are currently Swiss made. Snowfrog P024, 20 ATM case, Sapphire crystal, bi-directional rotating bezel. Uh, this is a little bit fun that we decided to have is that when we made this watch, we decided since it was called the Orbit Robot, and nobody was exactly sure why they called it that, we uh, kind of commemorated that by making a case back, which is a robot orbiting the Earth. So we had a little fun. So this is a kind of a great watch that if you want something that stands out a little bit differently, uh, we do have our Sea Lord line, which is kind of a value leader for us. 3018 case, sapphire crystal, uh, ceramic bezel insert, so front is here two four, and um, 39 millimeter case, wears really nicely. We have the green version of it as well. These all we took a lot of pains to make this a great dive or dress watch. So you've got loomed indices with it in the ceramic and on the dial. And then we have a couple of classic pieces to us, which I'll move it over. We have the DTU-2A, uh, which AP, which was the first watch introduced, uh, first contract watch that the Vietnam soldiers in 1964. We also have the civilian version, which coincidentally was the watch that Steve McQueen wore in the movie Bullet, and is also known as the Bullet. Uh, same watch, except for the civilian version, had uh, polished case and slightly different loom patterns. And then our iconic pieces, you know, from the beginning, are the Type 1 and Type 2, which were the Special Forces watches and uh, government issue watches for the U.S. military from 1972 to 1980. And these represent sort of like our, our core launch products, which uh, these were limited editions, which are almost finished. Uh, the Type 1 is almost gone, and Type 2 is midway through its run. Uh, and these are our robust military dive watches, 1,000 ATM cases, just like the Sea Lord. Um, assembled in the U.S. with an ETA movement, Swiss made with a Socrat P024, uh, double dome sapphire crystal, uh, bi-directional rotating bezel, friction fit to meet the original military spec, which these are all built to, so they didn't make noise and identify your location underwater. And the great things about these, which we won't do again, is that the case backs mimic the original, uh, 
except for a modern date and serial number, and they are actually screw back cases, which we will not do again because it's you have to use a special tool to open it. But we wanted to keep the original design. So here you kind of have our uh, our line in a little nutshell. We're continuing to grow. It's been a great run. We've been we've been with the guys that that, that lined up for the past four four years. It's been an ex wonderful experience. The crowd here is amazing. The enthusiasm is just, there's nothing better than being a watchmaker and being able to talk to people about watches that really want to get into what we're doing over here. So it's an awesome experience. The guys running this and girls, everybody did an amazing job. And today is just incredible. It's, 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 it shows how much enthusiasm there is over watches. So we're glad to be part of it.